What's up guys? Uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this week's video is going to be the start of our next season, the second year of us on YouTube. Uh, if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button. And if, you, if you're watching this video, please subscribe, please. Yeah, um, or, or comment too. We try to, I think we answer like 90% of comments. If do. there's like a question or something that needs, you know, answering or whatever. Yeah. Plus our uh, Instagram has been uh, heating up a little bit. It has. Got a lot of questions yeah. on there, so. But uh, anyways, so start of season two, it's our second year. Um, we just wanted to take an opportunity to, uh, for those of you that are new to the channel that are just joining us, uh, we want to give you a quick recap of what we've done to the cars and what we're planning on doing. Yep. Um, as you guys know, there's a lot of hype about the next generation STI and WRX coming out from Subaru. So we'll talk about that a little bit. What are our future plans? Are we gonna stay with this, this platform, the 2015 to 2020, or are we gonna shift over to 2022? Who knows? Um, we'll talk about that. Cool, so Kyle, do you wanna, yeah, wanna start with, uh, yeah. All right, let's go look at my car. Cool. All right, we'll start at the front. First up, front lip. JNA, it is the CS style. Uh, it's like the first thing I did. Uh, holds up good. Been through a winter. I haven't destroyed it yet. It scrapes a bunch of times, but whatever. Uh, obviously, new front emblem. I uh, went for the black to blue to match. The Subi Speed JDM um, bezels. These are not the sequential. These are just the like switchback ones. And then to match that is the Dio Dynamic C lights. That way they both, I thought it would be weird if this one was blinking and this one was being sequential. So it was like, whatever. I also added the fog lights cause this is a base. Uh, did that. I also blacked out the turn signal and I like unplugged the bulb. So now that doesn't blink. So the only thing that blinks for my blinker is this and this. Black that out, slim that out. Uh, next up, very expensive Mon. I have the red OEM brake calipers, spray painted. Um, <laughs> And then uh, Option Lab wheels with General G-Max AS05 tires, uh, 255, 35, uh, 18s, and then these are nine and a half as well. Also behind here is the uh, Faction Fab coilovers, the F-Spec, not the FR spec, which is their uh, track one, or their new FL spec, which is their super, super, super low one. Uh, so that has been fantastic. Also rally over mud flats because you have to. Um, side badges as well. Uh, what else? Stickers. Most important one. How much does this one add for horsepower? Uh, they're all five. This one's six. Yeah, that's you're right. That one is six. Um, this one right here is extra dank. This one might actually be six horsepower, as the other ones are five horsepower. So I think all together here we got an extra twenty-six horsepower. <laughs> um, I did have the premium auto style. Uh, tail light tints, but I did a full detail and did a ceramic coat of this car and when I taped it off It kind of like fucked it up. So We'll get a new one eventually or maybe new tail lights if you know you guys want to see that um, I have the blacked out uh, Badges back here the Subaru all-wheel drive and the WRX. I may eventually take off the all-wheel drive and just leave the Subaru WRX I'm not sure matching emblem. This is the APR carbon fiber trunk uh, trim um, it's not one of the ones that stick on top. It's a full thing, so it's even carbon fiber underneath here. Uh, third brake light, F1 style. So then this is my uh, DRL, like when I'm driving and the lights are on, this lights up. And when I hit the brakes, this blinks about a million times. It's fantastic. Um, coolest mod, Remark four inch double wall axle back exhaust. It sounds absolutely fantastic. <laughs> like crazy on a stock tune don't need anything else fantastic uh let's see what else oh inside well you don't hold on do the trunk while we're back here my kick it 10 inch sub and guys this is the cleanest trunk setup that i've ever seen for a, a wrx um yeah, it's fresh definitely in fresh. terms of keeping things oem like i know people do like you know whole trunk yeah, replacements like have... and they do air tanks and all that but for just installing a sub kind of like kind of killed it yeah that came out good um what else oh the inside i got a new head unit the pioneer 
2660 uh, NEX. New head unit. I got four new speakers, all Infinity. I have the Cobb WeatherTech floor mats. Here, I'll open this, make it easier for you. Cobb WeatherTech floor mats. That adds also six horsepower. It's closer to the ground, in case you guys are wondering. Um, I have the racing shift knob, with also inside of there is the shift stop, and then underneath the car is the shift bushing, all from Perrin. And then the Faction Fab all suede steering wheel, which is honestly fantastic. Um, I think that might be it. Speakers. People really uh, underestimate a steering wheel mod because- Oh, dude, in the heat, like, dude? Like, yeah. oh my God. No, this has it, been in the sun all day and it's not warm at all. It's, it's the fantastic. same thing with the shift knob. I mean, the steering wheel shift knob are the two things that you touch every single time yeah, you're in the car. It definitely helps. And just that slight, in, you know, that increase in quality yeah. of the materials remote, and things remote like that. Remote base knob I added too for the subs. You can actually turn up and down the sub from back here, which is pretty nice, especially when the girlfriend's in the car and she's like, I don't want it too loud. Hmm. Um, I think that's it. Um, cool, so quick overview of my car. Um, my, my plans for this car is to, is, is, essentially, everything that I put onto this car is supposed to be performance oriented. Um, obviously some of the things, you know, are, are just cosmetic, but um, so my decision for, for wheels and tires, for suspension, they all were, you know, that balance of performance and comfort and daily driving. Nothing was too extreme, then nothing was uh, just for, you know, there were some aesthetic things, but um, cool. So starting in the front of the car, just like Kyle, um, I have a eBay front lip, soon to be replaced with nice. a new uh, lip kit coming from Maxa Design. It's coming uh, in a month or two. Um, new badges, plate delete, plate uh, relocation. Um, down in the fog bezels here, you'll see I have the um, SAE fog lights from um, Diodynamics, and these are their really cool TRIR optics. So if you guys want to see that video and installation and the review of those, I'll put the link up in the description or up in the corner. Uh, these are my blacked out headlights that the previous owner did with the Morimoto C lights. Um, I might be redoing these to make them look like Kyle's because just compared to Kyle's, you know, his just looks so much better. Would you black so, out the, uh, the yeah. amber? Okay. Yeah, for sure. Um, or I might try to get a clear, because I think there are companies that sell yeah, the clear version what, um, now. Scott did the clear, and you can still see the bulb just barely through, but yeah. it does look good, the clear. Yeah, cool. Uh, a couple carbon fiber vinyl accents from Subi Speed, one in the hood scoop here, which is going to be replaced with a real carbon fiber version. Um, carbon fiber vinyl roof, roof wrap, um, carbon fiber side sill runners. Uh, and then for my actual carbon fiber bits, I got the, um, OLM carbon fiber gloss uh, mirror covers. Uh, and then on the back, I have the Rec Speed carbon fiber ducktail spoiler. On top, just an OEM Subaru Vortex generator. Um, now back to some of the performance things. Um, I do have a, um, I guess I'll start with wheels and tires because we're here. Um, Continental um, Extreme Contact Sports. Uh, they're a great tire. They're way less expensive than the Michelins, and I think they perform just as well. Um, for my wheel setup, it's an NK TS10s, 18 by nine and a halfs, plus thir uh, 35. Um, Muteki Super Tuner lug nuts. Um, and then for my um, rotors and pads, I have the Faction Fab um, F-Spec pads, um, which are just amazing, by the way. Um, I have the Faction Fab by swept slotted rotors. I think I said that right uh, for the front and rears. And then you'll also see that on my WRX, I did do a Brembo swap. If you want to go uh, check out that video and how much that costs for me. And you did the rebuild as well. Like I did, did a, a full, full, rebuild. full rebuild. Yeah, they too. came off of a salvage junkyard um, 2012 STI that was in a really bad wreck. So I had to import them from Canada. So um, build series, uh, I'll link that in the description. So, uh, yep, so I have the Brembos, upgraded size rotors, all of that. And then back in there, I have the uh, Fortune Auto 500 coilovers um, with the Fortune Auto uh, springs. Um, I might be upgrading to the Swift springs, but we'll see. Um, rally, armor, rally armor mud flaps. Gotta have it. And then for lastly, for, for lastly, geez, <laughs> uh, I got the third brake light. That's fun. 
uh, exhaust. So I do have a tune on this car. Tune is from Ambot. It's an Ambot E-Tune. Uh, really recommend him. Um, he, he just did a great job. Nice conservative tune, exactly what I asked for. Um, super safe, super reliable, even in the middle of the heat and the humidity up here. So um, the exhaust I have is a NVIDIA R400 catback with a grim speed catted downpipe. So I am stage two, um, but I still have in, uh, OEM intake, so. Uh, that's it. Tints. Oh, yeah. Red tints. Those came with the car. Just look at all the all red on the I, silver. I honestly, I bought the blackout ones after I got this car to mm -hmm. replace them, and I never did. I just kind of like the red out. But, yeah, it actually looks pretty um, good. Classy yeah. dip badges, right? Or those the... Uh, yeah, I did a driver mod on my uh, gas tank. I only fill it with good gas. Mm, Shell intense. 93. Blackout badges. Blackout badges. Um, interior, shift knob, shift accessories, bushing. Got the Cobb AP, um, I got my Dunkin' Donuts. Um, and then also I have the custom um, shift knob uh, uh, temperature gauge monitor, uh, Subaru brand. Oh, right on top, there yep. you go, beautiful. Yep. yep, limits the amount of sunlight that burns my palm. I'm actually using a mask on it now. I, use, <laughs> I have an extra mask that I Super fancy. on top, works out pretty um, well. And then I also have a, a, a little bit of speaker system, so new new speakers, and then I have an inline kicker amp, and I'll, um, yeah. I think that's it. Uh, I think you're uh, good. Uh, Bosch wiper blades. I have those too. Dude, they're actually really they're good. Actually really good. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely well, would Project Farm, them. Project Farm. That guy did a uh, cool video comparison, comparing all the different oh, okay. windshield wipers. Yeah. Um, Bosch all came right, you out. You want to go to your build plants? Sure. Water, AC. Okay, good, 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 good. Just checking. It's probably oil. <laughs> cool. All right, so uh, build plans in the, for the future for me. Um, the next I, year, what do you want to do? Within the next year, I'm um, finishing my exterior, which is going to be lip kit. Um, I might reset my suspension a little bit. I might go a little lower, camber it out a little bit more, um, a little more of a track spec setup. Um, for Also for exterior, I might be doing some other carbon fiber bits, maybe the carbon fiber hood scoop. The or, big old one? The or big hood vents, auto. heat extractors. Yeah. The massive one? Yeah. Possibly, nice. yeah. Um, and then uh, so a couple of minor upgrades. I might be redoing my fog bezels like Kyle did. Uh, I really want to get the JDM front grille, which is a nice simple mod. Yeah. Um, and then for, for, for performance, that's really what I'm gonna be focusing on next year. Um, so I'm gonna be doing basically all Grim Speed goodies. I'll be doing Grim Speed intake, Grim Speed boost controller, TGB deletes, EGR unplug, uh, and then possibly a top mount or front mount. We'll have to see. Air oil um, separator, question mark. Uh, a AOS probably, probably as well. Okay. So Because I know um, usually that's... As you guys know, the goal is, for me, 350 to the wheels. I think that's pretty easily manageable. And that's without um, E? That's without ethanol. Okay. So I'll be going basically full bolt-ons, um, with minus or plus the intercooler, we'll see. But I might go flex fuel, depending on if I get a place to store ethanol, so. Um, Big turbo, question mark. Down the line, sure. Maybe? Okay. Yeah, if I win a giveaway, sure. All right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, or I uh, get a FP blue or something like that. But um, that's it, cool. John, what are your future plans? Uh, buying a WRX and getting rid of this Jeep. Hell Keeping yeah. it as a project car, maybe we can put a V8 supercharger in it. I don't know. Whatever you guys want to do. Lift it, yeah. Lift yeah. it, whatever you guys want to do. Crazy five inch body. You guys want to throw kit. it off a cliff, whatever you got. I don't know. <laughs> Comment down below. Would you like to see the Hellcat crate engine swap into the Jeep Grand Cherokee? And then we'll lift it, obviously, because. We could put fenders on, so we could probably yeah, put an exactly. engine in yeah, it. Yeah, we so. did. We just did a special. <laughs> so if you need body work, hit me up on Instagram. Cool. Uh, build plans for this car. So I'm kind of torn right now. I have two trains of thought. I could either finish this car the way I want to do, so I would do the 2018 plus bumper, um, do that to get the nicer fog light bezels, intake, downpipe, 
Uh, get the mid pipe to finish off my exhaust. Obviously an access port, port and a tune. Um, maybe wide body if, you know, the girlfriend is a nice lady. Um, oh, that's also on my list. I forgot that. Yeah, I'd love to do that, you know. Um, and and then just finish it off with like all the healthy, the TGB, EGR, aero separator, top mount, do that. So that is one train of thought is I could put all this money into it and kind of make it like my perfect car if I could have, you know, built it, you know, on paper, what it would look like. But my other train of thought is the new 2021 or now probably the 2022 version of the WRX or the STI. Originally, when the concept came out, I was all for it. I was like, yep, this is it. I'll keep this thing the way it is. I'll do little stuff here and there, finish it off, keep all the stock parts. I can go back to stock when I want to trade it in. But new renders have come out and it's kind of like, I don't know. It, you know, we don't have any spy shots yet. So it's got to be at least six months to a year out because there hasn't been any spy shots. We have renders and we'll put some up on the screen of all the renders uh, that we have seen. Um, the front of it kind of looks the same, almost the same general theme, but the back, I can't do it. The, the back of the, of the most previous, the most like new render, man. Yeah. If, if that, if that render with the big line bar that I have on the screen here is actually it. I don't know. I don't know. It's don't it's, know. it's like a Camry mixed with like a Nissan Altima. Yeah, it's I mean, they are working with Toyota Subaru, more. please, please Subaru. I want the new car. I want the 400 horsepower engine. I want the FA24, but please, for the love of God, do not make that the rear end. Yeah, um, so price-wise is the other thing. This WRX is fantastic because it's 27 grand for the base. And then the STI is, you know, whatever, 33. But if they make the STI, the 400 or 450 horsepower that people are coming out, it's gonna be the same price as the Supra. It's gonna be 50, 60 grand. And then it loses its fun value to me because the fun thing about this car is that anyone could buy it. You know, for your, not really your first car, but your second car, you could afford this. It's not that expensive. But a $60,000 car is almost three times as expensive as this thing, you know what I mean? So. For me, the price has got to be, they got to keep the price. I'd, I'd love the horsepower gains, but like if the WRX goes up yeah. and they make the WRX 300, 350. If it's under 40, I think I'll go for it. Yeah, I mean the SCI definitely has, for me, has to be under 40. You know, they're talking about the, they want to What's the compete. top of the line spec'd out? Not the S209, what's like the top of the line 2020 SCI Probably right like, now? SCI premium. Probably like 40, 44. I think, yeah. I think like a ceramic white STI now is like 44 uh, with yeah. all the options. Like that's what, their like, their, yeah. so probably I would say around there. But if it starts there, it's not as bad. But you know, when they talk about comparing it to the Supra, the Supra is crazy. It almost overpriced itself out of the market. The Supra For the is, same yeah. price as the Supra, you can go get the new C8, you know, with 200 more horsepower and it's mid engine, you know? Yeah. Granted it's- And it's weak, at, weak axles, but. Yeah. Um, so Shout out to Amelia, of, uh, what's her face? I know, Amelia. Amelia yeah. Hartford for blowing her C8 already. Yeah. Um, so I'm not really sure what to do. The other thing is the BRZ. The BRZ is stopping this year and in the 2021 it's coming back. Uh, gonna be like a complete redo with Toyota. So they're taking the year off, which is fantastic. I think they should. So is that gonna be all wheel drive? Is there gonna be an all wheel drive spec of that? Is it gonna have a turbo? Is it gonna have the new FA? 20 have an fa24 we, we kind of don't know so i'm kind of up in the air do i want to spend all this money or do i just start banking my money paying this thing off and getting ready for the next one so it's kind of hard when you don't have like you know what it's going to look like um but based off of the renders i'm leaning more towards putting more money into this if that's what it's going to look like cool um but yeah that's that's my uh those are my build plans cool so um Another thing that we have coming up this year, uh, if you guys notice right here, we got some uh, some things in the workings for, oh, 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 don't, oh, oh, oh. the preview, oh. Uh, we have some things in the works for uh, possible, some merch, we have some really cool designs coming out. Um, right now we're just doing some prototypes, but um, let us know down below, comment or, or hit the like button, subscribe, um, comment down below if you guys, oh, Kyle, you look pretty dark Would there. Would you be interested? Are you guys interested in merch? Yeah, do um, you guys want to buy it? Yeah, let us know. Cool. Yeah. That's all we have for today. I think we're good. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, we 
Back to our regular scheduled programming with uh, mods and reviews and Kevin busting his knuckles on random shit. Yes. Your next, two should be next fun. Next week. So thank cool. you guys so much for, and, you know, putting through us for one year and now uh, time to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Peace, guys.